Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the real analysis. Today I will explain you how you can state and prove the Cauchy criteria for uniform convergence. Myself, Dr. Arishkar. You can subscribe my YouTube channel where you can find a various lecture on the real analysis. So what we have discussed so far, we have defined the pointwise convergence of the sequence of the function. If I quickly recall you, what is the definition of the pointwise convergence? If you have the sequence of the function from A to R, then this sequence is said to be convergent pointwise if, if this sequence is convergent for each x belongs to my domain. So in this case, domain is my A. Fine. Now in this lecture, we will define the uniform convergence, which is more stronger condition than of the pointwise convergence. I have already uploaded the various examples on this pointwise convergence. So you must watch that and try to understand the concept of pointwise. Now, the basic difference between the pointwise and the uniform convergence is similar to the difference of the point of the continuity and the uniform continuity. Now, remember student, you have to note down these definitions. A sequence of the function fn is said to be converges uniformly to the function f, which have the same domain as of the fn if if for a given epsilon greater than zero you have to find a positive integer m such that fnx minus fn is less than epsilon whenever n is greater than of m and this is the one of the most important definition that's why i'm asking you don't forget it you can write down this definition on your copy now if you are talking about the uniform convergent, then that value of the m is independent of this nature of this x. However, in the pointwise convergent, this value of the m is dependent upon the epsilon as well as of the x both. On the uniform continuity, m is dependent only on this epsilon. Now, uniform, once we are talking about the uniform convergent, it is always pointwise convergent. That means if you prove that the sequence is uniform convergent, that is always pointwise convergent. But converse need not be true. Fine. And how you can prove the pointwise convergent? We have seen in our last lectures examples of the pointwise convergent. You have to prove this limit and the limit of this is my existence. Then you can say fnx converges to the f. And if you prove that the, it is a pointwise convergent and a uniform convergent, then that f is also convergent to the f. Now, what is the Cauchy criteria? How you can check about the uniform convergence of the sequence? If you have a sequence of the function fn, which are defined on the domain A, then this sequence is said to be convergent uniformly if and only if this condition hold. That is absolute value of the fn p fn plus p of x minus fnx is less than epsilon. Whenever n is greater than of the m and p is my greater than or equal to 1. Now you can see that this is the if and only if, if condition. The proof is a very very simple. Believe me, if you watch this video till the end, it is one of the easiest proof I have given to you. Fine. So firstly assume that the series, the sorry sequence of the function is converges uniformly. So what is the definition of the convergence uniformly? For a given epsilon, for a given epsilon greater than zero, there exists m, which is my natural number, such that fnx minus fx is less than epsilon whenever n is my greater than or equal to m. Fine, this is the definition. Now look at that, this is our target. What is your target? Your target is to prove f of n plus p minus fx is less than of epsilon. Fine. Now look at this target. You need to find the fnx, which is already we have obtained. We need epsilon. We have already obtained from that case. I need a n plus p. Now you can see that since n is my greater than or equal to m, fine. And I can assume p is my greater than or equal to 1. What I can do? n plus p, if you add them, it is greater than or equal to m plus 1. 
and m plus 1 is also greater than or equal to m. So we can see n plus p is my greater than or equal to m. Fine. So now what is that? This definition hold for all those n which is greater than of the m. And you can see I can found another n which is my n plus p which satisfied this property. So therefore from the equation number 1 what, what you can do, I can replace n to be n plus 1, n plus p. Fine. This is the by definition of the uniform continuity. So that is my whole. Now we can see I need a n plus b we have obtained. I need a fn we have obtained. So we can start from this quantity. How you can do that? I can add and I need a fnx minus fx. I can subtract minus fx, I can add plus fx on the both side. Fine. Now, what you can do, I can use the inequality a plus b, which is less than of mod of a plus mod of b. So I can say this is less than equal to fn plus p of x minus fx plus, because it's a plus sign, so I have to return fx minus fnx of this. Now since I need a fnx minus fx, I can take a minus as a common. So modulus of the negative quantity is my positive. So this value will be written as fn plus p fn minus x. Now what is the value of this? It is strictly less than of epsilon. This is strictly less than of epsilon. So it will be my 2 epsilon. Fine. I call 2 epsilon is another number as epsilon dash. Fine. Otherwise, Instead of this epsilon, I can take an as epsilon by 2 so that it is my automatically be epsilon. How you can make this as epsilon by 2? I can change this epsilon to be epsilon by 2 because epsilon is the positive number and this number is also changed to be epsilon by 2. You can see I have changed these two numbers as epsilon by 2. So therefore, epsilon by 2 plus epsilon by 2 which is my epsilon and it satisfied my this condition. Now converse. Assume that this inequality hold. Then what will be your target? Your target is to prove the sequence. What is your target? Your target is to prove C Fn converges to F uniformly. Fine. Now as per the definition of the uniform convergent, your first target is to prove fnx converges to the f point wise. Fine. And then you have to prove that fn converges to the f uniformly. So your basic targets are you have to prove fnx, fn converges to the f point wise and uniform. So let's start with the first point wise. Now since in this case this is given to you. So just look about this case. Fine. Now what is the point wise? We will look about for each x belongs to the domain. If you look about this equation number one, what you observe that? That means this condition is the sequence is my Cauchy sequence. Fine. This is the definition of the Cauchy sequence also. And it is also convergent because it is less than of the epsilon. Fine. So the sequence fn is a Cauchy sequence of the real number. And we all know that this is also convergent. Fine. So what is the definition of the convergent? If this is convergent, that means limit fnx as n approaches infinity is my finite number. Fine. So I assume y belongs to the my real number such that f limit n approaches infinity is my y. Fine. Now your target is to define fnx converges to the f. So I assume f is the mapping from a to r such that because this is a real map, I can assume f of x is my one. Fine. Because r, y is my part of the real numbers. Then what is the value of the y? y is nothing but my limit of the fn. So what is the definition of this implies? This implies fx is equal to fx is equal to limit n approaches infinity of fnx and this is the definition of for each x this is the definition of the point wise convergent hence fn converges to the f point 
secondly in order to prove that fn converges to the f uniformly your target is to prove this quantity now look at that we have given this equation number 1 and we have to prove this value clearly say if you compare this expression in this case we does not need a value of the p fine so that means my claim or my approach will be to eliminate p fine your target is to eliminate p because if you eliminate p then your domain will be satisfied what is the minimum value of the p p minimum value is my 1 what is the maximum value of the p is infinity so i can keep n is my fix fine and i can take p as my infinity so i can take this limit as p approaches infinity of f n plus p minus f n which is less than of epsilon fine now you can take the limit inside what will happen this is a limit p approaches infinity f of n plus p minus limit f n x as n approaches infinity which is less than of epsilon what is the value of this we have already proved that this is the value of f x by using the point wise convergent so therefore i can replace this number to be f x fine now when you take f x n approaches infinity this value becomes my f n x minus f x fine so what is the definition of this this implies the sequence of the function converges uniformly on the f and this is a very very simple proof which i provided you in a very simple manner you can see that is a firstly your target is to prove the point wise because this is a cauchy sequence by the definition of the cauchy is a convergent and convergent means that's a limit is existence and i hope you can simply enjoy this session 2 we will see the next lecture on this examples of the uniform convergence of the sequence till then you can like share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel best of luck students happy learning all